Dillies. What's going on, everybody? We're gonna find out here who's the snack king while wow, snacking. Down for some snacks? You go now. I thought we we're just gonna have snacks. It's always a challenge. Life itself okay, is a explain challenge. Explain the challenge, please. All right. So what's gonna happen is, is I've got some facts, some fun tidbits from the internet, the series mm -hmm. of tubes in which we are looking at you right now. Stop that. But we're also going to take these facts and I'm going to throw the facts at their brains and see which um. one of them uses their mouths properly to respond to them. Whoever responds to them properly will take a wonderful path of life and choices and whoever responds improperly will have a very downward, sad way of going with their lives. I'm and a little worried. So this was invented in the 1950s, okay, and is highly marketed to children for children ages 2 to 11, which is pretty crazy. Maybe food. Um, it is also, <laughs> it is also <laughs> second worst thing you can eat for breakfast. Cereal. Okay, you're, you're on the right track. Cereal. You're in the you're in the right track. So it's a cereal. It's I'll give you guys that specific cereal. Specific cereal. Oh, uh, okay. So look at charms. crunch. Cocoa it, it was the Cheerios. it was the sponsor for the Adventures Frosted of Wildsville Hill Hickok what? radio and television show. Frosted Flakes. In the 1950s, it came out. It's been uh, around Frosties. since then. Sugar be. corn. Sugar, sugar corn. corn. Um, wheat. Sugar corn. Oh, what's those little sugar cornos? Uh, uh, corn holios. No, I'm trying to think of the squarish <coughs> corn one. They are yellow. <coughs> Checks. We probably they have a chocolate version, chocolate peanut that was peanut version that was in, uh, launched in 2007 and 2012. Cinnamon version of this as well. That's every cereal. <laughs> Cheerios, man, they did all that. I don't know. <laughs> I said Cheerios at the get yeah. was like, why is this so hard? Uh, uh, corn pops. Corn. Yes. Oh, <laughs> man. So you got here oh, it's a nice no. little. Sampling of some oh, corn pops, no. and you oh, have God. just regular old popcorn and some milk. <laughs> Wait, you said this was the second worst thing to eat <laughs> for, for, for breakfast. breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't mean it's not delicious. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Did you add salt to it? Or butter? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. That's just a regular salted one. Next up, it's just so. There's like no taste to the popcorn. It just tastes milk with spongy grossness. I don't normally. Eat sugary cereal. This is way sugary. Yeah. No. You gotta eat you it all. What's thing? going on here? Oh, I think you should. Well, I mean, depends upon. I had four spoons. <laughs> Do I have to eat it all? <laughs> all right. It's not gross. It's just it's soggy. So that almost ruined popcorn for me. These are invented by a name a uh, man named Oscar J. Cambly. Wieners. Oh, and we're out. We're not in the cereal world anymore. Yeah, wieners. So we're outside the cereal world. No. <laughs> wieners are outside. Oscar Cambly, not, not Meyer. Oscar Meyer Wiener. Okay. All right, he ran a Swiss company called Cambly in 1958. Um, but then soup. somebody came along and purchased it. Okay. Uh, Campbell's actually. It's a company under Campbell's. Campbell's that soup. Purchased Tomato it. soup. They are a Swiss invention. What? They're still available oh. under their original brand name um, in Switzerland. What do they call those? They have a little mascot. The weenies. And uh, the it's the smiling fish mascot whose name is Finn. Fish sticks. Um, fish sticks? Oh. Uh, they come in multiple flavors. What? Is it those? They're very popular with the kids. Bulky? Is it those like, like chocolate covered pretzels, straight ones? No. No. Okay. No. Just the fish logo for some reason made me think of it. Oh, uh, I know. What do they call those again? Uh, I don't want to give it away to you. Um, <laughs> the brand name I have to think of. What are the things though? I don't want to hit you. Uh, shoot, what's the The founder of the company that later bought them and brought them across the pond in 1962 to make them available in the United States is Margaret Rudkin. Oh, I know exactly what it is. I can't think of the name though. I know what it is. I can't think of the brand name though. I'm not giving it away to him. <laughs> they do have a pretzel version. Um. Oh. Oreos? Their most famous is the cheddar. I know. Oh. I know exactly what he's talking about. Oh, I can't think of his name. Nope. Crackers. You're getting closer, uh, but like. Are they crackers? Yeah. yeah, they're in the cracker oh. game. They're, um, what's the name of them? Liga? No. 
Ritz. Don't forget their mascot's name is Finn. The fish crackers. I can't think of the freaking name. Oh, goldfish. Oh, oh, you got it. It. I knew I was going to give it away. Lucky for you. Oh. You got some goldfish. Yeah, Sweetie, like sweetie, goldfish. Um, uh, no, I feel really bad for Q because these are these are for cats, but they also oh, have cheddar on them. Oh, <laughs> no. This is little fish temptations that are crunchy and have some cheddar to them. Oh, <laughs> man. That's the cheesiest one. Uh, I feel pretty the bad. The rock hard. <laughs> I can't get it off the plate. Look at this. You know what? Don't finish it with your No, oh. I like them. I'm actually a big fan of them. Not to, not to lie. Though. They're a little salty, but I kind of like the amount of cheddar. And <laughs> <laughs> they, I don't know. Those are... Uh, They're those not are, like, as bad as I thought they were going to be. Cheddar Temptations are definitely not goldfish, but... Uh, no. it's. Uh, you might be honest with them. You seem yeah. to dig this. Yeah, it's the like... aftertaste is disgusting. <laughs> right. oh. I'm, I'm finna be winning this. You're finna be winning this. Oh. So this one is a uh, fairly popular um, candy to a lot of kids, mostly because it's within their price Gummy range. Worms. And that's what they're, you're pretty close. Penny sweets. That's what we're gonna, what? Penny sweets? Penny candies, I'll give that to you. God, man, I didn't affordable. even get to my question you here. Okay. You go with the All right, question. well, what I was going to say is, did you know that there was actually a revolt against, for like, kids revolted against the price change in penny candies oh. at one point? And they actually had, like, songs and, like, how to strike outside of all the wow. stores because they were going from five cents to eight cent candies. Wow. Kids made sign, signs with slogans such as, don't buy eight cent bars, lower prices to five cents. We are smart. Let the suckers pay eight cents. We won't. Um, <laughs> and I guess, basically, it had something to do with with uh, means of survival and cost of things and just generally that it, like it made them unaccessible to kids who could actually afford right. the five yeah. cents yeah. so a big famous five cent candy which I couldn't find was uh, the blue fishes oh Swedish so fish. yeah. yeah the Swedish oh, fish oh I know you did so yours you get some cool little gummy dinosaurs okay. but he gets gummy sweet oh, <laughs> which is the gummy fish show the camera <laughs> It's been doused in a bit of honey just to give it a little sugar, and uh, yeah, that's. Uh, Let's that's just get all that honey. This is a lobster. <laughs> it's pinchy. It's a Simpsons reference. You didn't yeah, I know. I don't get it. <laughs> you didn't get it the last time. We're gonna go with one point for each uh, one of these, but now we're gonna go to two just to see if Q can come back whoa. with it. Yeah, I think that it's only fair because we, sure we only got two left here, so it was a sweet bean. Great. Starts right. off with honey and then turns to just fish. So let's do two points for each correct answer on this one because there's only two left. Oh no, three points. Because if you wait a minute, no, two each. No, two each. Because then you'd be four. I have to win both of them. Then you'd be four points. Yes. Okay, yeah. sounds good. All right, so here we go. This treat is uh, from the ancient Mesoamericans who first cultivated these potato plants. chips. What's that? Potato chips. No, but no. Oh, interesting. <laughs> no, we're in the wrong oh. snack world right now. Oh. Um, they cultivated these plants found in tropical rainforests of Central Chocolate. America. Okay. Cocoa. And they often added what into these? Cocoa beans. Chocolate. Nuts. Cashews. Peanuts. Looking for one Walnuts. specific thing. Pecans. Coconuts. Cashews. Uh, Usually they added cinnamon, vanilla, water, honey, and one last ingredient that's specific to them. Package? Specific to them. Also a bar that Lint decided to make. Lint? Lint. Oh. Lint. Yeah. Care milk? It's an odd thing. Oh, I couldn't make that. We've ate them on the show before. To add to chocolate. Uh, add figs. Uh, no, we didn't add it to chocolate. It's oh. just something we've eaten on the show before that's been added to this chocolate. And specifically, pickles. They added one thing to this. And normally, you, you would drink it too as Wafers? well. What? Yeah. Cocoa. Coconut. Yeah, but in, in cocoa, in this, often they made a drink uh, out of it as well. But they added like one sort of odd ingredient that really milk? honey sort of stand. No, I already said honey, honey vanilla, milk. water. And something else with some cinnamon. Usually brews a frothy drink. Coffee. Maybe got a little, Coffee a little tingle on the tongue. Peppers. 
Oh, you got it. Oh. Those are some chocolate covered oh. chili peppers. <laughs> Those oh, are deliciousness. The, uh... <laughs> mm. Right on. So I'm not too sure how that's gonna taste. That was an experiment in chocolate on the show. Yeah. Woo! This is really strong. Those are the Thai peppers, so. Ooh. What's that on the scoville? Oh, I actually ramped up pretty good. Thai chili peppers, about 90,000. Really? Hmm. Fairly hot, actually. It's up there. It's not in the millions so, yet. But... Yeah, it's in the... Yeah, because yeah. it feels... 90... 90,000. 90, 90, yeah, 90, not, that's not high on the chart. No. This is pretty burning. For the Ooh. final round. My tongue is on fire. Just in case... Oh. It's... Oh. Something's brewing. Oh, no. Uh, one too many adult pops last night. There was a very giant food ban that took place in the United States and these were kind of targeted. So Red Hot Soda Cheetos, pop. Flaming Cheetos. Up until 2000s, these oh. were not actually sold the way they are in Canada and the rest of the world in America. Smarties. It's an Italian brand. Oh, Luminis, Mini Weenies. Italian it's Weenies. It's a chocolate candy. Mars oh. bars. Netflix. And uh, it was, Italian? it was, um, they, they are labeled currently as being safe for three and up, but they remain highly popular in America. Citizens regularly Coca -Cola. attempt to smuggle samples into the country despite the potential fine of about $2,500 per one of these, <laughs> just because they want that damn chocolate. Um, chocolate? Yes. Italian? Whisper? Partially because of... What's going on inside? Weed cookies. Weed, weed, <laughs> weed parts. Yeah. No, no, not nothing at all. With, nothing to do yeah. with Colorado's. That'd be pretty funny. Make you guys eat some, yeah, <laughs> some weed cookies. <laughs> if you win or if you lose. Oh, chocolate covered pretzels. There are a no. surprise that comes with them. Kinder surprise. Because oh! oh! <laughs> choking hazards. Right. right. So that was why I was banned up until about Toys. 2000, I think, uh, from what I'm reading. So. Oh, on the upside, man. you get a nice little surprise candy egg. And then, of oh, course, no. you get the wonderful chocolate oh, covered hard oh, egg. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you want to swap? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I'm so sorry, bro. I feel so oh. terrible. <laughs> well, I got no oh. idea.